In this problem, we see two vessels. Vessel A is traveling along a linear path. It's, we're told it has a velocity VA in the positive J hat direction and an acceleration AA also in the positive J hat direction. Vessel B is traveling along a circular path. It has, we're told, a velocity VB in the positive J hat direction and an acceleration AB tangential in the negative J hat direction. We're asked to find the velocity and acceleration of boat A as seen by the occupants of dinghy B. Because we're going to be observing from B and B is following a circular path, so it's rotating, we're going to use rotating frames and our rotating frame has to be attached to dinghy B and rotating with it. So if we write our expressions, what we're being asked to find, we're being asked to find the velocity of A with respect to B in the rotating frame and the acceleration of A with respect to B in the rotating frame. We can start by figuring out how our rotating frame is moving. So what is the rotation being experienced by that frame? Because we'll need that information to put into our rotating frames equation. So we're going to start with describing the velocity of B with respect to the center of the circle that B is traveling around. So the velocity of B equals the velocity of O plus the angular velocity of B crossed with the vector RB with respect to O which is this vector here. The velocity of O, if this was actually attached via a, a, a rod or an arm between B and O, still zero because the velocity of O, O is the point or center of rotation. And we can write the velocity of B is the velocity B, the scalar in the J hat direction. We know just based on the way it's moving, the angular velocity B has to be in that direction. That's a minus omega B in the K hat crossed with the magnitude of RB with respect to O is the radius R and that's going to be in the minus I hat direction. We'll complete this cross product and we get VB in the J hat equals omega B R in the J hat. If we look at the scalar version, that means omega b equals vb divided by r. The magnitude of omega b is 0 0.25 rads per second based on the values we've been given. So we can say that the vector omega b is minus, remember we defined it as minus right here, minus 0 0.25 rads per second in the k hat direction. Now I've put x prime and y prime, but right now they're aligned with x and y, so we're going to use the x and y. It, it doesn't matter, we can use either instead of the primes. k hat and k hat prime are always aligned in planar motion. So this is going to be our big omega, the rotation of our rotating frame, because the frame is attached at b and rotating with it. We also want to find the angular acceleration of the rotating frame. So we're going to write that the acceleration of B in the tangential direction is going to be alpha B cross R B with respect to O. Because of the direction of the vector of tangential acceleration of B, we're going to assume that alpha B is in the positive k hat direction. So we can write that minus AB tangential in the J hat equals alpha B in the K hat crossed with that minus R in the I hat. We end up with minus the acceleration of B tangential in the J hat equals minus alpha B R in the J hat. Minuses cancel, the J's cancel, and we can find that alpha B equals the tangential acceleration of B divided by R, 
which is going to be equal to 0 0.05 rads per second squared. If we write that in vector form, alpha b equals 0 0.05, remember we defined it as a positive k hat, rads per second squared in the k hat, and that's going to be equal to big omega dot, or the angular acceleration of our rotating frame. Great, so we know how our rotating frame moves and we know what we want to find, so we're going to write our first rotating frame equation for velocities. So that's going to be the velocity of A equals the velocity of B plus big omega cross R A with respect to B. That's going to be this vector here, R A with respect to B plus that velocity we're looking for, velocity of a with respect to b relative or in the rotating frame. So that final velocity is how a person on b would view the motion of a. We can rearrange this and write the velocity of a with respect to b relative is the velocity of a minus the velocity of b minus big omega cross r a with respect to B. And we'll put in our numbers, so we know this is 25 meters per second in the J hat, minus 5 meters per second also in the J hat, minus a negative 0 0.25 rads per second in the K hat, crossed with a minus 10 meters in the i hat, where we know that the magnitude of r a with respect to b is this value d here in the diagram. So we'll complete that cross product. The first two terms give us 20 meters per second in the j hat. We've got minus a 2.5 meters per second also in the j hat and we find that the velocity of a with respect to b in the rotating frame equals 17.5 meters per second in the j hat. Now you'll notice that even though these two have velocities that are both in j hat, this final value is not just the subtraction of the two linear velocities. So the fact that the person on B who is observing A is rotating with B changes our perception of how A is moving. So we're going to move on and write our acceleration equation for rotating frames. So we have the acceleration of A equals the acceleration of B plus big omega dot cross R A with respect to B minus big omega squared, the scalar, r a with respect to b, plus 2 times big omega cross v a with respect to b in the rotating frame, plus the acceleration a of a with respect to b in the rotating frame. We know that the acceleration of point b is going to have this tangential component but it's also going to have a normal component because B is rotating in a circle. So we're going to just write an expression for the acceleration of B. That's going to be AB tangential plus AB normal. And that's going to be minus 1 meters per second squared in the J hat. That's our tangential, which we've been given, plus omega B squared R in the i hat, so that expression of centripetal acceleration. And that omega b is the same as big omega. All right, so we have all the expressions we need. We're going to plug them into our equation. We're going to find that we have an acceleration of 4 meters per second squared in the j hat for aa equals the expression we've just come up with, minus 1 meters per second squared in the j hat, plus we're going to have 0 0.25 rads per second all squared 
times 20 meters in the i hat. This all together is the acceleration of b. Then we're going to have 0 0.05 rads per second squared in the k hat crossed with minus 10 meters in the i hat minus 0 0.25 rads per second squared or rads per second all squared times minus 10 meters in the i hat plus two times big omega, that's minus 0 0.25 rads per second in the k hat, crossed with our velocity of a with respect to b in the rotating frame, 17.5 meters per second in the j hat, plus the acceleration of a with respect to b in the rotating frame, which is what we're trying to find. So let's complete our cross products. We're going to have 4 j hat equals minus 1 j hat plus 1.25 i hat minus 0 0.5 j hat plus 0 0.625 i hat plus 8.75 i hat plus the acceleration of a with respect to b in the rotating frame. We'll combine our terms. We've got 4 j hat equals minus 1.5 j hat plus 10.625 i hat plus the acceleration of a with respect to b in the rotating frame. And that gives us an acceleration of a with respect to b in the rotating frame equal to minus 10.625 i hat plus 5.5 j hat meters per second squared. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.